Koro's a mess, and Sueño is calling for El Emisario's head. Not even El Yeyo can protect him now. Track down El Emisario and bring him in. Let's see if he's willing to cut a deal. Let's go. Let's roll. Take it a shot. Target down. Fucking hell. Ready? Open fire. Copy. and the cartel are going at it. We got cartel Sicario troops engaging us. Drone is airborne. Heads up, we've got Unidad patrols in the area. Probably a response to all the shit we've been stirring here in Okoro. Just spotted one with submachine guns. It's 20, almost a platoon. Got it, moving. I need a better position. Wait one, let me get in position. Target marked. Got the target. Say the word, boss. That's one less bad guy. Twenty hostiles by my count. El enemigo ha retrocedido. Todas las unidades regresen a su patrullaje normal. Sniper out there. I got a target carrying submachine guns.
I'm moving to position. Let me find a good position. Shit, I gotta find a good position. Target acquired. Standing by. Target acquired. Ready. Call the shot. Got one. Coming up on the target area now. Get ready. Bowman can't wait to take a run at up. Hold up. We're in a target poor environment. Get back to it. Bowman can't wait to take a run at El Amasario. So watch your fire. We need to take him alive. Copy that. I'll be damned. Ladies and gentlemen, El Emisario has left the building. Killed himself rather than face his own grandfather. That's fucked up. I feel like we drove him to it. Come on, man, stop it with that shit. He made a choice. We need to check the body. See if he's got anything on him. Hey, got a suicide note. Bowman, this is Nomad. We found El Emisario. What happened? He killed himself. Left a note to El Sueño taking the blame for the loss of the labs in Okoro. Guess the shame of failing his grandfather was just too much to take. That little shit. We had El Yayo by the nuts and now this. Guess he wasn't quite the fuck up we thought he was. He just didn't break the way we expected him to. It happens sometimes. Well, you do this sort of thing a lot? I do whatever it takes to get the job done. Same as you. Innovation versus experience. Technology versus tradition. Youth versus age. La gringa versus el yayo. I had been hoping they would complement each other, but they could not get along. They were too different. I have been producing cocaine this way for years. That's exactly the problem. Our product was so good, the demand was only increasing. We couldn't keep up. I don't care how you do it. Science, tradition, or voodoo. Just make more. Or I'll find someone that can. The Santa Blanca cocaine production pipeline, led by El Yayo. It all starts in the fields with the harvesting of the Erythrox lumnovogranitens, aka the coca plant. Of the 200 known species of Erythroxlum, only two contain usable levels of cocaine, so you have to know what you're planting. El Yayo knows what he's planting. First, his people strip the leaves off the plant. Then the leaves are dried, finely chopped, and sent to the lab. That's where this chick comes in. La Gringa here is an American chemist with Mensa level IQ and sub-zero morality numbers. They take the chopped leaves, dust them with lime, that's right, lime, then pour diesel fuel all over them. Stir for three days. You can use a washing machine or a cement mixer, but Santa Blanca does it by hand. Then they mix all this shit with sulfuric acid, a dash of caustic soda, and bam, cocaine paste. You dry it, chuck in more acid, and pretty soon you got powder. But now you have to purify it because no one wants to snort yellow powder. It's gross. So, a little more acid, some potassium permanganate, pyrolusite, Hungry yet? Filter with ammonia and beautiful, pure white cocaine. But everyone knows how to do this, right? What makes Santa Blanca so special? 
What makes SB a brand? Because they figured it out. How to mass produce a custom product, plant genetics, logistics, mechanization, state-of-the-art labs, reduction of redundancies, quality control, purity of chemicals, and of course, the secret sauce. They're geniuses. They've taken Coke production into the 22nd century. What Henry Ford did for the factory, they've done for the lab. They're innovators, they're pioneers, they're SB. El Yayo was born amidst the Bolivian coca. His mother carried him on her back until he was old enough to go to work for himself. For decades, Yayo picked the leaves, fingers blistered, back aching, feet bleeding. But never in all that time did he once extract the alkaloids to make cocaine. To Yayo, the coca leaf was an ancient tradition, going back 8,000 years, a medicine, a culture, una planta sagrada. Of course, the Americanos had a different opinion. They called it Plan Dignidad, the Dignity Plan. Although Yayo was no more than a farmer, un cocalero, his world was left in ruins. With no other means available, he was forced to do the one thing that he vowed never to do. He was forced to produce cocaine. In the end, the Americans' efforts to stop cocaine production created one of the greatest cocaine producers to ever live. <laughs>